Ginger. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a cucumber trellising video. So I'm getting ready to share with you guys how I am going to trellis up these bait alpha or alpha bait cucumbers. So as you can see, these have grown a lot since my last video showing these. So there's four plants in here that may be too much for this container, but I'm just going to go ahead and go for it. So what I'm deciding to do is, let me show you what I'm using. So I'm using a tomato cage. So I'm gonna use a tomato cage for a trellis thing. Let me show you the package. So this is what the package looks like and it was $3 and I got it from Diaso. So this is what it's supposed to look like. As you can see on the picture here and I'll probably insert a image so you can see what I'm talking about. So this is what it looks like but I am going to use it as a trellis for my cucumbers, okay? Um, and this is the store where I got it from, Diaso. $3, it's all right. And so I've already previously put it together, which I'll show you. So this is what it looks like that now that I have all of the arms attached to the little stakes the stakes stake poles or whatever you want to call it so i do let's see i think i have two more that go actually no i don't so they come with one two three four six of these arms okay and originally these two that are here are supposed to hold it's supposed to hold this in place um like a triangle so in essence, what I'm saying is this bar here across this way would not be here. It normally goes this way. So maybe let me just show you guys what I'm talking about. Hang on just a minute. So this is what the tomato cage is supposed to look like. So you have the little triangle bars that go across this way. So you have one layer here and then the other layer here. But instead of me doing this third cross support here i'm going to take this one off and i'm going to add it to the top here so that i can swing this whole cage out and it could be used as a trellis for a different type of vegetable so that's what i'm getting ready to do here hang on hold on y'all so this is what i was saying so i'm getting ready to take off this third bar that makes it like sturdy uh we're gonna take this off that way I can open up the cage so that it operates as a trellis for my cucumbers. So I'm gonna take this bar and so I'm gonna take this bar here and then I'm gonna attach it at the top. This is what it looks like. And I think I might in the future just go back and pick up some more of these because I kind of like this idea. Um, and then if I need some other type of netting, I do have another netting that I can kind of add in here if I need more support. So let me go ahead and get this arranged in the soil and then I'll come back. All right guys, so this is what it's looking like so far. It's a little bold. What I did, I think it came through the bottom of this pot. Let's see here. Yeah, it did. It came to the bottom of my container, so it kind of poked a hole through it, but that's all right. Um, it was already kind of aerated, aerated at the bottom for drainage, and I think that's what um, caused the stakes to go through. So now what I'm doing here, which you can't see, is I'm just trying to get everything evened out because it keeps bowing out on the side, as y'all can see, hold on. And if you wanted to, you could also use this, or you can ex extend this out. So if I had like, so I do have another one of these pots. So if I wanted to put like another extension on, on it, I could probably do that, but I don't think I'll do that. Um, and you can also add more crossbars in here as well. So just in case you need more support, you can also probably go purchase these at, they may have them at Home Depot maybe or Lowe's. I think I have seen some of these connectors. So I think they are called connectors 
and you can purchase some of the connectors and you can add them in between here and yeah so if you needed more i guess space to attach your cucumbers or if you want you can probably add some type of netting over here which i have but i think the netting that i have the holes are too large so but for now this will work so let me go ahead and attach these cucumbers plants to the little bars all right guys so what i decided to do is go ahead and get these bamboo stakes and these are i think 72 inches long and then i also have my little handy dandy saw that i'm going to use here in a minute to cut these down once i get or determine how far they need to go in or how long they need to be so here and then from in order for me to attach it so that it will stay what i'm going to do is i'm going to take off or unclip this crossbar and then i'm going to put um, this bamboo stick behind it that way it's a little bit more sturdier as you can see so this is what it's looking like all right guys so this is the final for this diy cucumber trellis and so like i said a minute ago you can but i decided not to do that because i don't want to cut my bamboo stakes so you can apply the bamboo stakes in between here and then well, of course cut them down to the right size and then you can add them in between um your plants here if you need it more like i guess squares in between to trellis up so which i may do later as it starts growing but as for now this is pretty good for me so you can see i have wrapped the tendrils across the crossbars and then some areas i have the bread ties on here which i kind of i put up here but i didn't like twist them really tight because i don't want them to cut into the vine so i also have some other green uh, tape that I can use to kind of attach these up here to or the little green clips so you can get those clips on a Dollar Tree. And here are the little tendrils. You can take these and wrap these around here. So what this does is train your plant to grow upwards or crawl up your trellis. Here is a side view of it to see what it looks like here. And, and everything seems like it's attached pretty good. There it is. Let's see. And this is the top view. Looking down on it. And it is pretty sturdy. Not super sturdy, but it's sturdy enough to go. And it's sturdy enough to lean against this pillar of the house. Yep. all right guys so here is the final look of my cucumber trellis that i made out of tomato cages so i will again i will insert a clip of the triangular tomato cages that i bought from diaso and then this is how i decided to use them and again as i mentioned if you need more grid space in between for your cucumber vines you can also add two pieces of bamboo in between here and then just cut them down to the appropriate size or you can just leave them long long wise or whatever but i just decided to keep mine just like this so i'm not going to use the bamboo as for now but maybe once my vines continue to grow i'll probably insert some bamboo stakes but as for now this is it i hope you guys enjoyed this little diy please remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys on the next video Bye, guys.